Hey guys, it's Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus and welcome to the next video tutorial of this holiday themed video tutorial. I just repeated myself, so sorry about that. If you are new to this channel, I post tutorials on a weekly basis. Software includes Maya, ZBrush and Substance Painter. So if that is your sort of thing, please consider subscribing. So bring out that creativity, open up that software and let's go ahead and continue working on this little gingerbread man. Today, we're gonna be UV mapping him, texturing him so he's ready for the next part, which is rigging. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, this is what we have so far. And uh, the first thing I need to do is basically UV map him. So let's go over here to the top right. We're gonna go to a UV editing. He looks fantastic. All right, uh, we can try. Well, the first thing you should probably do is send him to the pivot, delete the history, freeze the transformations. And what we can try to do is just go to automatic mapping and see what happens. Um, it's okay. I do want to make sure that as much of the geometry is um, sewn together. So let's grab these little pieces here. And where are they located? They're scattered about. So let's shift right click, stitch together. Now let's press a number one so we can see what's going on. All right. Let's see. All right, so that usually means, this edge here means that uh, they're not attached, right? So let's see if we can grab the edge and then instead of stitching together, let's try to sew. Okay, that works a lot better. Let me check the model. It looks like the model got moved somehow, which is gonna mess up my UVs, but that's okay, because I can always double click on this and then unfold. We're gonna do the same thing for this one. This is the back. So we're gonna shift right click, stitch together, and we're gonna do the same thing. We're going to sew. Let's take a look at the back. Somehow these UVs got flipped or this model. It's probably when I beveled the edge, that's okay. I'm just gonna grab that. And again, you're gonna shift right click, unfold, unfold. All right, shift right click, rotate UVs. And now at least both of them are facing forward. All right. So the sides, the sides is really up to you. Um, I'm probably gonna sew the head, the arm and things like that, but probably will keep some of it separated just for the sake of space. But let's see where these guys are. This is here. So I definitely wanna grab these edges, shift right click, stitch together. Cool. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. And then I'm gonna just click the letter G. All right, so that's the head. Right, so if I double click on faces and click on that, oh, there we go, just double check. Okay, cool. Next is gonna be the arms. So I'm just kind of looking at my model and selecting these white lines, which basically represents borders. So shift right click, stitch together. Uh, if you're new to UV mapping, I highly encourage you to take a look at my introduction to UV mapping where I go over everything in depth. So you don't have to be guessing as to what in the world am I doing, you will actually understand what is going on. So uh, I will leave a link up here at the corner so that you can watch it at your leisure so that you don't have to be confused. Otherwise, hopefully you guys are following along. So don't forget I'm clicking on the letter G on my keyboard, which basically means that it is the last command that I just made. So shift right click, unfold, unfold. Now this is kind of organic, so I'm okay if it's got a little bit of a wiggle. Okay, let me see why does it look like this. <laughs> All right, this is, that's the leg. Why is the leg there? Wait, what? Oh, okay. Well, I could keep the whole leg together, I guess. I don't know if I am. Actually, I'm gonna keep the leg separate. So let's go to edges and I'm gonna do a little cut. So let's go to edge, grab here. This is where I want the cut to be. So shift right click, cut. And then for these, I am going to sew together. So click on this, stitch together. And you see how this got this little stair step? I have to find out why. So let me, faces, 
Uh, whoops. Let's go ahead and unfold. All right, that looks good. Never mind. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. Grab edges. Right click, stitch together. Same thing. Faces. Shift right click. Unfold, unfold. There we go. Okay, we got some wandering faces here. Let's find out where they are. Ah, these are the top of the feet, so I definitely want them attached. So I'm going to go into my feet here and tell them to shift right click, stitch together. And I didn't grab all of it, so now I have to sew these guys together. Shift right click, sew. So let's go to this side. We're going to grab the edges over here. Shift right click, stitch together. And I think that's good. So that is one leg. And now we have to figure out what these guys are. These are the bottom of the arm. So I definitely need to sew that. So let's grab these edges and just do a stitch together. And now I'm feeling like this is way bigger than I thought. Oh, okay. So that's what happened. I accidentally sewed the head with the arm. That's okay. I can quickly take these UVs and then cut. All right. So this is the head. Whoop. This is the left arm. This is the left leg. So I'm kind of putting the left side over here. This is the right leg and you are the sides of the body, which I'm probably going to attach to the leg or not. Maybe they'll be by themselves. Okay. All right, so I'm going to select everything, unfold, unfold, just so everything is the same. And then don't forget to delete the history, all that stuff. So save as. These are my UVs. I'm going to move them aside because I need to start UV mapping everything else. Now, everything else is basically going to be planar mapping because I really don't need any much information other than the front. So let me grab these guys. I could have done that so much faster, but that's okay. Planner mapping, and that's the wrong one. Planner mapping options, and this time I'm going to choose Z. Apply, and there we go. Now, the question that I need to ask myself is if I want to have... These are hollow, right? But these are not hollow. So the question that I need to ask myself is, do I need this extra mesh? And the answer is no. So I'm going to go in, and I probably should have deleted it before I even mirrored it. But that's okay. Easy fix. So what I'm doing is just deleting the interfaces because they're just taking up space and it might make my UVs a little bit more complicated. And it's just not necessary to have that stuff there. All right. So click shift, double click. Delete. Face, click, shift, click, shift, click, delete. Click, click, double click, delete, and one more. Delete, and da 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 da. Cool. Let's bring everything together. Okay. Now I like to keep the Dexel, um, actually, let me delete everything here. Um, I like to keep my Texel density, uh, the same size. So let's go to transform. Um, let's see. 1024 map is fine. Click on get, click on set. And now they're all basically the same Texel density. So that means that the grid size is the same on everything, which is important. All right, let's go to faces and just kind of move things aside because now we're going to start laying it out. So this is the most important part. Well, the front is the most important part, to be fair. So let's just kind of squeeze them in here. 
make sure that it fits in. And then this one also needs to fit in. And I think I can squeeze them both in here. I'm gonna turn on the grid just to make sure. I think I got it. All right, so this is one side. Let me move things, it's like Tetris. Do, 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 do. Try to squeeze it in in areas so that it maximizes the UV space. So this is the other side. And I'm gonna move these down. And this is the head. So I might move the head here and it might not fit, just barely. So I can either rotate it or I can just scale it a little bit. I might scale it just because I really do want it to fit here. I think I get most of them. Okay. And then after that is just placing these in the in the space. Might rotate these a little bit straight just because it'll be easier to texture if I need to take it out into like Photoshop or something like that. I'm gonna procedurally shade these so I shouldn't, you don't really have to worry too much about it, but it's still really important to make sure everything fits perfectly as best as you can. Okay. Let's turn on the grid, make sure everything is there. Awesome, otherwise it would show like that, right? So that means that everything's in a zero to one space and I'm basically done with UV mapping. Awesome. Set of the pivot, delete the history, freeze the transformation, and now we are ready to start texturing. So file, save as. Uh, let me add another one. Cool. Uh, let's see, geometry wise, I am probably going to smooth this just because it will be easier for me to um, rig it later. All right, that is how you UV map a gingerbread man. Once you're done UV mapping, it is ready for texturing. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you learned a thing or two, please like and subscribe. That is your message to me, letting me know that you like this stuff and that you want to see more content. Don't forget to take a look at academicphoenixplus.com. There you will find free resources such as 3D models, ebooks, and so much more. And if you want to support me a little bit more, you can always take a look at my e-courses and purchase one or two. That would be a huge help. And it also is a way to support me so that I can create more content like this. Again, thank you so much for watching. Next time we are going to texture this gingerbread man and then rig it. Keep creating and I will see you next time.